Hi there. This week we go from February to March and we go from meteorological winter to meteorological spring. And as that happens, very little changes in terms of the weather, at least until the weekend. And then things start to get very interesting. More on that in a moment. For the next five days at least, high pressure is just sitting to the northwest of Scotland. Watch as I run the sequence forward. That high pressure barely moves through Tuesday into Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, a very subtle northwestwards progression. But really, for most of the week, we're all in the same sort of weather pattern. Higher pressure in charge, keeping things relatively static, but not always dry and sunny because we will be feeding a lot of cloud and some showers in from the North Sea at times. That's certainly how we think, start things off on Tuesday. There will be some sunshine first thing and a touch of frost in the south and more especially for Western Scotland, temperatures as low as minus seven Celsius, a few breaks in the cloud for Northern Ireland as well. But for much of Eastern Scotland into parts of central and Eastern England, perhaps East Wales by the end of the afternoon, a lot of cloud and some showers feeding in. Quite a number of showers actually for some of these eastern areas, along with a brisk wind from the North Sea making it feel on the cold side. Eight to 10 Celsius typically, not far from average for the time of year, and around coasts it will feel cold because of the brisk breeze. Increasingly so for the English Channel, I think on Wednesday that breeze uh, gusting over the hills of the southwest as well as uh, parts of uh, northern England. Bringing further showers with it from the North Sea, quite thick cloud there in the east and across central areas. But once again, after a frosty start, Western Scotland doing well for plenty of sunshine. Breaks in the cloud also for southern and some western fringes of the UK, so for Northern Ireland as well. Into Thursday, well, only subtle differences with the position of that high pressure, but it could potentially lead to fewer showers, a bit less cloud about on Thursday in places. However, the rough... Uh, scenario is the same, a lot of settled weather, but some places continuing to see a feed of showers. So for example, the Pennines, the Southern Uplands, Snowdonia perhaps seeing a feed of showers continuing over the next few days. Best of any breaks, south and western parts, especially western Scotland. Friday, it's a case to spot the difference. Actually, there are a couple of differences. One is that there'll be a better chance of some cloud breaks feeding into the east and across some of these central areas. So many places seeing a fine dry and bright day. Another difference is that the wind will start to come in from the north a bit more. And that marks a change as we go into the weekend. At first this weekend, things are looking very similar to Monday to Friday, high pressure in charge, a lot of fine weather, areas of cloud and the odd shower into the east. But for the Northern Isles here, a more marked change takes place through Saturday much colder air arrives behind this, cold, behind this occluded front and that air will lead to sleet and snow showers for the Northern Isles and then into the north and east of Scotland by the end of Saturday. And through the rest of the weekend that cold air will try to filter its way a bit further south. But how far south it gets and what that means for our weather into next week all hinges on developments on the other side of the Atlantic and what's taking place over Greenland. Now during the weekend Low pressure over the mid to north Atlantic will start to feed all this energy northwards and allow high pressure over the UK to migrate towards Greenland. And at the same time, there's a highly amplified, very perturbed jet stream. You can see how it loops around this low and then pushes all the way back up to the north of the high pressure that's developing over Greenland, allowing this northerly feed that's allowing the colder weather to push into the north of the UK by the end of Saturday. Now, if you imagine this jet stream is a little bit more amplified than what we're seeing here through the rest of the weekend and the start of next week, you'd allow the cold air to fully spread across the whole of the UK with some snow showers for northern and eastern parts. That's not considered the most likely scenario for the rest of the weekend and the start of next week. Equally, if this whole pattern was flatter, so less loopy, well, the energy from this branch of the jet stream would be allowed to push low pressure in from the west, bringing wetter, windier and milder conditions by the start of next week. And, well, getting those northerly winds out of the way and leading to a return to more changeable weather, but nothing particularly wintry. That is also not considered a particularly likely outcome at the moment. What we consider the most likely outcome is something in the middle of that. So a jet stream that's highly amplified a jet stream that is south shifted, 
and northerly winds by the end of the weekend pushing cold air into the north and the east of the UK, whilst low pressure tries to feed in from the southwest. And as that happens, the low pressure from the south and the west is likely to push in and mix with the cold air to the north and the east, leading to some disruptive snow in places by the start of next week. Very difficult to put further details on that because it all comes down to very fine margins in terms of the location and the position of the track of these areas of low pressure and how they mix with cold air. But there is that increased risk for the start of next week of disruptive snow in some parts of the UK where these air masses mix. And of course, we'll keep you updated on all of that. If you follow us on social media, you'll be able to follow those updates right here. Bye-bye.